What's going on? What's going on, FB? Yeah, it's in the middle of the night. I should have my ass in the bed, but uh, a little bit under weather today. Went to the doctor. They told me I had a little bit of bronchitis. So I've been in the bed all day, so now I can't sleep. I've been eating these things here like they was uh, candy. But, uh, so because I'm up, you know, I've just been on the internet looking at, you know, this and that. You know, came across some shit that aggravated me a little bit, which ain't hard seeing that I'm, I'm a little bit under weather anyway. Um, but what I've seen is it, uh, it sparked a question in my head, and I want to pose this question to y'all. Um, if you know, and I'm specifically talking to the people who are 35 and up, I'm talking to y'all. Although, if, it's, if it applies to people younger, then that's fine too, but primarily 35 and up. Where do your values come from? You specifically, where do you get your values from? Where did they originate from? Think about it for a moment. I'm serious. You know, that's a good question. I mean, I, I, um, for me, I would have to say my values come from the region of the country in which I was raised, which is, you know, from the South, so my values are Southern. Um, my belief in God, um, my daddy, the military, and various other leaders, mentors, and experiences that I've had in my life. Um... And I'm sure for if you're a person of a certain age, you know, all that, some of that is specific to me, but, but for the most part, a lot of that applies to most of us if you're a person of a certain age. Uh, now, now, let's be clear. Uh, my list of values, um, they contradict each other all the time. However, though that list of values still provide the foundation for everything that's good in me, everything, everything that about me that is that is just, that is fair, that's productive, um, um, that's successful, comes from those values that I deploy, that I use, that I've received from that list. Um, but the disturbing thing is today, two thousand fourteen. It seems that all of the values that we received from our parents, from our from our, from our elders, from uh, uh, leaders, from um, um, the 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 uh, missteps of those in the past, everything. Um, if you're a person of a certain age, are being washed right down the toilet. We are being told that everything is up for review. Right now, everything. Now I understand that change is inevitable, but I don't give a lovely fuck who you are. Change ain't always good, and kiss my ass if you think it is. It's not always good. It depends on the change. Everything we was taught. Is basically under review, from how to raise our kids. You know, we, we uh, the way our mama and our grandma and her mama did. Oh, that's wrong. Everything is wrong. You're just doing it wrong. You know what it is to be a real man these days. That standard under under review. That's that's wrong. What it is to be a a, a real woman is under review. I mean. Uh, Anything from how you allow your kids to interact with adults. Uh, fourth and fifth place is still winning. Man, fuck that. Fourth and fifth place means your child was sorry. He was a scrub, and he ain't got damn make the cut. You go back and train with this motherfucker so that he can come back next year or next time and do better. We fight all our children's battles for them, and that's acceptable. And what that does, that, 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 that breeds individuals who don't know how to handle conflict and they don't know how to handle rejection 
And then they grow up to be little bitch ass motherfuckers on your job, always telling on every, every goddamn body. Or throwing goddamn tantrums. Or adults walking around the office pouting. You know, that, got, that kind of goddamn shit. Um, I mean, everything. I remember I have family members who used to have, you know, small dogs back in the day. Well, it was understood. When you came to our house and you bring that dog, that motherfucker going to sit his ass in the car for the duration of your visit. My mama didn't allow that. She didn't want your motherfucking dog and our dog went in the house, so yours ain't going to be in the house. Do that now and you're looked at as you're some kind of, uh, you are an evil human being. Dogs are pretty much humans and people expect you to treat their dog as you would if that was their child. Everything is wrong, you know what I mean? Uh, and what's crazy is we are allowing this to happen, people 35 and up. We are allowing this to happen, although most of us, you turned out okay. Your parents was okay. Your grandparents, you tell them they was okay. There's certain standards and certain rules and certain boundaries in society that keep us within due bounds. It takes a village. And the people who did these these progressive motherfuckers who will come out here and say, well, this was wrong. Uh, uh, this is wrong now. Studies have found this is wrong now. Well, now we have way more problems in society than we did back in the day. Because shit was not tolerated back then. There was an understanding. Again, change is inevitable. But change usually comes over a generation. Fuck that these days. I, don't even, I can't even recognize what the fuck happened in 1999. You realize 1999 is damn near like 100 years ago. Shit moving so goddamn fast and we are allowing people to do that shit. We are allowing that people to, people to do that shit. It, 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 it don't make no, make no sense whatsoever. Complete and other disrespect for those who come before us. And we don't check them. You got flies out here with Martin Luther King on it, with bitches goddamn twerking on it, or uh, advertising a goddamn a uh, club date, get in free for ten, all that kind of shit. Yet we go. There's no respect for anything anymore, and yet the powers that be push that shit. They push it. And let me and let me say this before people go responding. Let me get this off my chest. Um, I think the, the second thing I said was my belief in God. I don't need you motherfucking agnostics and you atheists coming in here telling me about what the fuck you think about that statement. Because really, nigga, I don't give a fuck about what the fuck you think. And I'm speaking to some of my friends. And I still think you are dear to me. But understand, I give less than two squirts of piss about your goddamn salvation with your maker or who the ever the green goddamn pig in, in yellow socks. I don't give a fuck who the fuck you believe in. That has not a goddamn thing to do with me. And that's the thing with a lot of you agnostics and atheists who want to come in here and say, hey, you, you know, you, you, you believing in a God that they told you you're supposed to believe in. And then I'll tell you something about me personally. The Bible is a rule and a guide. A lot of good stuff in the Bible. A lot of the common sense stuff, thou should not kill, uh, don't cover thy neighbor's rights. A lot of just common sense stuff. That's my reference, what I refer to when I'm trying to walk this earth and I slap the shit out of a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Every goddamn day. You know what I mean? It's a, it's, 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 it's a, it's a padlock on things to keep everything within due bounds. And I really could give a fuck or less about, you know, about what you believe or what you think about what I believe in. You, you, you have a cordial invite to motherfucking make sweet love to yourself. I mean, I swear to God you do. So don't come in here with that bullshit. If this don't apply to you, then, then nigga, keep it moving. But, and I'm not disrespecting. Okay, let me say this too. I'm not disrespecting you for not believing in God. Uh, for questioning, because we should question, because believe me, religious people are on some bullshit too. Religion as a whole is on some bullshit too. But notice I ain't say nothing about uh, my belief in religion. I say my belief in God. My personal relationship with God. I choose to believe. I have faith. But anyway, 
Um, it's been 10 minutes of me motherfucking wasting goddamn time, you know, I'm saying, you know, giving out what I believe right now, you know, basically because I'm got a little aggravated because I'm sick on the weather. And doctor want me to stay in the bed pretty much another couple of days. So I won't be able to do it, get out there and try to get this money or uh, further my craft by bettering myself, hitting these stages. But um, wish everybody well. And uh, that's it. Peace.